Let's work. Let's get this job done. What's next, bro? <laughs> What's next? What's the next step? Yes, is this a recording? Hello, my friends. In this video, we're gonna show you how to make a shower, just making a shower base out of the floor, like concrete. This is gonna be about two inches lower than the floor. If you do this way, you don't need a, a regular shower base. We just, in this case, we're just uh, gonna do it straight from on the concrete. Worked very good. And the process was just to break the concrete. We just use a, a saw to cut a straight line and broke it with the uh, ship gun, a jackhammer. And then we have the drain. And we're just gonna we put some sand to level it up. As you guys can see, we put some sand, compact it right there. It's compact. We just pick up a sand on a landscape supplier. One yard, half yard of sand is plenty to do this job. And um, so we had the the sand compacted it and then we put the vapor bear the vapor bear is to make sure that the moisture it not come up to the concrete six mil poly right yeah this we have some six mil poly strong stuff you can walk on it it's not even scratch it good stuff and we have a wherever we have a hole or a cut on the vapor bear we just put the Stack tape, good tape. This tape is good for uh, excellent for vapor bear. It's very stick and is uh, water resistant and waterproof, so this would work very good. The same tape that we use for any type of vapor bear. You can see around the drain here. We had to cut the poly. And then we just uh, tack tape it all around to make sure that the uh, moisture will not come up be beside the drain. Yeah, the drain is uh, the drain is rough on the center. Uh, if you look at it right now, it doesn't look to be on the center because the door gonna be this way. So once we install the sliding door. It's gonna sit on the center of the, the shower. Right now looks to be a little bit off because we just deduct the few inches for the door on this side. Okay, so like you guys can see, we have the poly. It's just coming a little bit higher than the concrete. This would prevent the moisture from coming up. And then once this is, is done, we just cut the pole off or leave it there doesn't make much difference because it's gonna be covered anyway this concrete for the shower would come up to there more or less on the end once we finish with it and uh, we just uh, we just gonna we use some rebar just to reinforce the bottom of the shower that way it doesn't crack and no problem with uh, leaking and uh, just, uh, I just had some riba from another project kicking around and uh, use what we use in here. Just brought them up and now we're just gonna take the chance and use it. Yeah, we don't really need the riba, but we're just gonna use it to make sure this is uh, strong and instead. And uh, else you can use a mesh, uh, it's a uh, steel mesh for concrete. Uh, for the base you can use like sand or you can use uh, gravel, road base, anything is good to compact. In this case we use sand because we just uh, really remove more, more from here than we had to. No, we just had to add with sand. If we left all the stuff in here, we do not need to use any sand, just compact what we had. Next step, next step we're gonna tie the riba 
good. Lift her up a little bit from the ground and put the concrete and we'll be good to go. All right. Let's work, man. I just tried to bend the rebar because I need a, it on a out of level for the drain. I just bend it on shape the way I want it, more or less. I want to create a, a little bit of slope toward the drain. Here's the drain, so I want to slope that way. And this is why I'm just uh, cutting them them and uh, that way the slope would be automatically. I'm just gonna do another piece for the set and that'll be good. Yeah just a little cut in there and then I would just yeah I'm just gonna bend it and break it. Hello guys, yes, here we just, uh, I just let you know that the difference between, uh, difference on the level between the, the floor, the regular floor and the shower base floor is about, gonna be about two inches lower. Yes, when we finish this concrete repair and the shower base, so the shower base inside the shower base will be the height of the bottom of this board. Yeah, the drain, whenever you have a drain or a hole for the pipe or anything, just, just make sure everything is covered, that way your concrete would not go inside of it. Yeah, when the concrete go inside the pipe, it will get hard and would block the water passage and then would be a big headache. In this case here, I just have, uh, like you guys can see, I just using a... Uh, Home Depot plastic bag. Can be any plastic bag. Whatever. Just a plastic bag, no much. Uh, else you could use some of the tape. Like uh, if you think the plastic bag is not strong enough, use some extra tape in there. And the job is done. Very much you can use uh, anything, just make sure that uh, your pipe are covered. Yes, to cut the rebar, I just use a, a sawzall and a blade. I did a cut, cut it about halfway, and then I just uh, step on it and broke it. Make life easier. And um, you can use a grinder. Um, many tools you can use to cut the rebar. I just uh, was the sozo was the thing that I had on my hand right now, so this is what I use. No, I just gonna use uh, this guys to tie the rebar, a zip tie. Uh, usually this is done with a uh, tie wire. Get a tie wire and uh, tie it up.
Okay, guys, I'm here just uh, about to pour some concrete. I just want to make sure this board is on a uh, level. The level there is uh, good enough. I just uh, need to find something to support it there while pouring the concrete. And it's good to go. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, right now we're just gonna spread a little bit of cement in here. A little bit of for the space. Just gonna make sure that we have it uh, nice and spread around. We're just gonna, once this harden a bit, we come back and we do the finished coat on it. Should take about like anywhere about uh, about six hours should be able to do next coat right on top and uh, get it nice and uh, straight. Consistency of the cement is not uh, not very hard, not too soft. It's just uh, nice that you guys can see it can be worked on it, see, it's not a, uh, but if it is a little bit soft, if you feel comfortable work with a little bit soft, it's okay too, because the water doesn't damage the cement. For this one here, we're just using the, a drill, with a pallet, good pallet, we just uh, mix it up on the back. It's a, it is a small job, so we don't have a concrete mix. We have it, but we don't have it here right now. All we need is this stuff in here, it's less mess and uh, and takes no much time. This is uh, another one that we're doing in different spot, and uh, on the end is this is how it looks for the sub floor. Like you guys can see here, this water here is just uh, where the drain is. So like you guys can see, once, uh, once we finish with it, the water all goes to the drain. Right now you can see the, the water is all run to the drain right now. So when we finish, is where it's gonna go. Put the finish coat like tomorrow or something? This one, like uh, tomorrow, we're gonna come back, do the finished coat, and then we're gonna set up the lines all straight to the drain from corner to corner. Hello my friends, we're here today, we're just gonna remove this uh, little foam for the shower base and see how it looks and then do some repair because sometimes you put the concrete and there's some holes when you remove the wood so this is what we're gonna do. Just been about uh, 24 hours since we done it so it's, uh, it is hard enough but not too hard to, to scrape. Because like uh, if we have to scrape some part of it, it's still a little bit soft. So this is the right time to do it. Let, let's do it, let's see how it looks. a little hand here and there, it's not a problem, right? Just knock on it, 
loosen up a little bit. A little knocks. Uh, let's see how it comes up. And today we're just gonna fill in all those holes that the concrete can go in. So this is the old concrete, existing concrete. So we're just gonna fill all those parts in. This is in the new one. We're just gonna just gonna make sure this is level and straight. We do that today, and uh, gonna be good. Straight corners. Okay, let's watch it. Looking good. We're just gonna fill in some part. Like you guys can see here, we have the poly. See the the concrete underneath. We will not touch the wood. It's very important not uh, to protect the wood because the wood would get rotten with the moisture. But uh, this case, you see, you have a vapor bear between the wood and the concrete. Yeah. The shower base looks uh, rough in here, but we're still gonna do the finish coat on top, set up the drain. We're just gonna set up a drain, just a simple drain like this, and um, do another coat, finish coat on top. So and This is just to have a sub floor in here. This is looking great. You guys can see, we have the slope. It always looks to the drain. Once we put the drain, probably gonna have about one inch of uh, about one inch of about one inch on top of this of concrete, and then we straighten up. But right now we just have a kind of a slope going toward the drain. But once we do that, it's easier to to work it on it instead of do it in one. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm not done yet. No? No. What? No, we have to finish this, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Good, let's go for the partner. <laughs>